hello guys welcome back today we'll talk about for loop uh, in general we'll talk about loops so let's start with a new code so we we'll say new java class and we'll name it as demo loop and finish okay so we'll we'll see why we require loop uh, so, so so I have my class here called as demo loop. Okay. And next. Now we need a function called as public static void uh, void main. Sorry for typo. And this will type string a. Okay. Now what next is let, let uh, let's uh, let's print a value. Le if I print a value one, so what I want to do is we have to say s out and 1 simple right then if I want to print 2 so I will say s out and will print 2 then if I want to print 3 s out and print 3 now what the problem is we are doing the same thing repeatedly right we are doing the same task repeatedly so what we can do is if we are doing the same task repeatedly we can use some block we can use some block okay and in this block i will say s out and and something if i print one it will print all ones so what i need is uh, it should start a block it will print a statement and once you complete the block again it should go back to the uh, upper part and it should print the same thing right other thing what we can do is let's suppose if i have a variable i initially i is one okay if my i is one and if I print value of i here, so it will print one, right? Again, it will go. It should go back, and it print. It should print the value of i. But if I say i plus plus, okay, so it will start with this block. Then it will come inside, and it will print the value of i, which is one. Then this operator, it is an incremental operator. Now this operator means. Add a comment here this operator means i equal to i plus 1 so it will increment the value and this is called as post increment so it is post increment okay any guess what will be pre increment yeah it's plus plus i so plus plus i is pre increment okay so now so now what we have is we have i plus plus so once your block starts it should print the value it should increment the i value then block the then the then we should finish the block again it should go back it should print this value that is 2 it should increment it will i becomes 3 again it should go back and it should print right and for that we need to add some some tag here so that that this thing is called as loop because we are we are starting something we are ending something again we are starting something so this is called as loop so the first type of loop is called as while loop so while is a loop in which we'll be having a block to print number of statements now this block this while will check for a condition right till what value you want to print this i so i will say till my i is less than 10 okay till my i is less than 10 if my i exceed the value of 9 it should stop printing right so it's that simple so this is how you can uh, you can implement a loop so this type of loop is called as while loop so now when i run this it's running it's running it's running and yeah, we have the output so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 see it's not printing the value 10 it's because what we've done is we have said i should be less than 10 so when you say less than 10 it will uh, let, let's see how it works so we have i equal to 1 right then it will come uh, to this while loop and say is it 1 less than 10 yes so it will return you a true value so while loop always check for the true value so it will check for the true value so it's true then when once your while loop gets true it will come inside and check okay we have to print a value of i which is one it will print then it will increment the value then it will go back 
it will check now it is the value is 2 right i so 2 is less than 10 yes again it will print 2 and this goes on till we get 9 so 9 less than 10 yes it will print now 9 plus plus is your 10 right so it will go back now 10 is less than 10 no it will return you a false value so when you one, once your while loop gets the false value it will come out of the loop okay and that's the end of the code that's why it's print, printing the it's printing the value till 9 what if we want to get value 10 also so what we, we can do is we can use equal to so it is i less than equal to 10 it means it will print from 1 to 10 so as we can see we have the last value is 10 so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 now so what next we can do is let's suppose uh okay now what if if i now go for infinite loop i want to print all values from one till end values so what we can say is i want to i don't want to check any condition here i want to i want to run this block every time so what i can do is we, i can just pass here true because while loop always checks for true value now this true value is a boolean value so you have a data type in java called as boolean and we can say it is as b and we can represent it as true and we can also pass here b it's the same thing right so boolean is a type is a data type in java so this is a, this is how your while loop works so let's remove this now see when you talk about while loop in while loop what we, we have done is uh, while loop it will first check the condition and then it will run this code we have one more loop which which will first print the value it will first execute this thing and then it will check for the condition okay so in while loop what we have is first it will check for the condition and then it will print the statements or it will execute the statements now we have something called as do while loop now do while loop what it does is it will first execute the statement and then it will check for the condition so when i say while i less than 10 so it's the same thing difference is while loop first check the condition then execute the statements do while loop first execute the statements and then it's check for the condition now if i run this so the value is again output is same right but the difference is let's suppose my value of i is 15 okay should it work no because see we are checking for the condition is one i less than 15 i less than 10 which is which is false right if i run this oh, if i would i okay now if i run this the output is 15 right it should not work but still it's working it's because we are checking the condition afterwards first it will come it will execute and then it will check the condition so when you work with while loop it will first check the condition then it will print do while loop first it will execute the statement then it will check for the condition so this is your type of second type of loop let's do while loop i will go back to while loop go back to while loop okay so now we have a while loop right now if you can focus here we have three steps so whenever you work with loops the first step is this one it will this step is called as initialization this step is called as condition and this step is called as increment right so if, if you're working with a loop why don't we have a loop in which we'll be having all this thing at the same line right now we are using three lines first line second line and three line it's third line right so what we can do is we can just replace this while loop with a new type of loop called as for loop so in for loop what we can have is we can have a data i equal to 1 so this statement we can remove then we can add a semicolon and then we'll say we have a second statement which is i less than equal to 10 and then we'll be having a last statement called as i plus plus so we don't need this statement so now you can see we have all this statement in the same line and this is your for loop simple right so now oh I'm getting this page. Sorry. Okay. Now if I run this, 
Okay. So we are getting the same output, but this time we are working with the for loop. Okay. Where should we work with while loop? Where should we work with for loop? We will see in subsequent tutorials. For time being, hope you have understood the topic. If you have any doubts, please comment it. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe for the further videos.